Well, the election is less than two weeks away. And we're watching big ballot issues, including a fire merger in Jefferson County. Voters being asked to consolidate Elk Creek, Inter Canyon, and North Fork fire districts to create Conifer Fire. Now, that new fire district would cover 400 square miles, about half of Jefferson County. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, spoke to supporters and opponents. And, Sean, this doesn't just impact the people who live there. Right. Its watershed supplies 80% of Denver's water. So a fire there could have a big impact on people here. And this area is at higher risk of a major wildfire than any other part of our state and most of the country. Despite that, most of the area is protected by volunteer firefighters. That could now change. Wildfires are nothing new to southern Jefferson County, home to Hayman, Lower North Fork, and Deer Creek Canyon, among others. But when the U.S. Forest Service ranked this as one of the top 10 areas most at risk of catastrophic wildfire in the country, it was a wake-up call. I'm worried that one day we'll have a catastrophic wildfire in this district, and we won't be as prepared as we could have been. Bethany Urban, a member of the Elk Creek Firefighters Union. Elk Creek, one of three fire districts covering 400 square miles of Jefferson County and the only district staffed 24-7 with four firefighter paramedics per shift. North Fork and Inner Canyon Fire Protection Districts rely almost entirely on volunteers. None of these local fire departments, Inner Canyon, North Fork or Elk Creek, actually have the resources on their own to handle a structure fire alone, to handle a wildfire alone, to handle a multi-vehicle accident alone. We always have to call mutual aid. And she says calls have increased by 300 a year in just the last five years. It does worry me when we're all tied up on one call what happens when the second call or the third or even the fourth comes in at the same time. And that Ken be... Shine, a volunteer firefighter in Elk Creek, says that's happening more and more as the population grows and ages up here, which is why three years ago the fire districts commissioned a study to see if they should merge. Based on the results, voters are now being asked to consider a $2.5 million property tax increase over the next five years to create a new fire protection district for the entire area with 24-7 staffing. And I have a feeling that much of this mill levy increase is going to just backfill uh, inflation that has taken place in this and they will come back in a year or two and say, well, now that you've consolidated and we can't go back, we have to go forward. Neil Whitehead, who lives in Elk Creek, says not only will they lose their independence, but he says Elk Creek, which has more residents than Inner Canyon and North Fork combined, will be subsidizing service for others. They're in effect using the wealth of Elk Creek uh, Fire Protection District to build up their districts. It is not the time to say only us. It is not the time to say we don't need anybody else and we don't need to help anybody else and we can do it ourselves. Emergency services does not work in a bubble. Wildfire does not burn in a bubble. And we need to be helping each other. Opponents say a lot of the details, like how the merger will be accomplished and where the money will go, are missing. Supporters insist they've released everything they know so far, which includes where stations will be located, for example, how many additional paid firefighters will be hired, 18, and the estimated cost to homeowners, an additional 8 to $14 a month. In order for the merger to happen, voters in each fire district will have to approve two ballot measures. If any one of the six fail, the consolidation falls through. This is one we're going to be watching closely on election night. Yeah, very important issue impacting a lot of people. Absolutely. Sean, thank yeah. you.